All right, so welcome back. I already posted my video about Legends Osseus and the latest trailer for that, but now we're gonna take a look at the other one, which in this case is for Billion Diamond's Shining Pearl. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into this, shall we? Gonna lower the volume, of course, due to copyright reasons, because otherwise I've gotta deal with that. Uh, I think this might be the Japanese one, so we're gonna just jump over to the uh, English one instead because of copyright reasons, because they can be very, very annoying to deal with, I'll be honest with you. So yeah, it's just the logos being shown off in the start, uh, transition, and then it says just news. And here we just got some quick shots of a lot of different things. We got the uh, flower area, we got the beach down when you go into like around where the swamp gym is, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, you also got where the moo moo milk thingy is happening. So either way, let's continue. Um, yeah, just quick images. I think we got the puffin making down here. If you guys remember that, the puffins, when you make those, that's right there. We got a rock climb up here. If you guys remember that HM. So HMs are gonna be back based on this image. We can already confirm that. Uh, and over here we got a Roserade. I think that's the, um, the, the first gym. Uh, that you take on, you know, and then the forest down here looks like the Eterna Forest. So the Eterna Gym and the, uh, yeah, the forest actually are being shown off in here. Oh, look! Oh, look! There they are! There they are! There she is! There they are! They're actually here! Look! It's all the characters! They're all back! Hey, are you gonna give me a- are you gonna give me a Riolu, my dude? You gonna give me an egg for a Riolu? Alright, that's sick. So, let's continue. So, Weasel, uh, Stunky, and, uh, whatever the cat's calling it, I always forget it. Uh, then we got Affinion, I guess Luminion's always going to be in there. We got Combi, which if you interact with the trees, is back. That's the whole feature is back. And the Pocket is back, ladies and gentlemen. The all-purpose Pocket is returning. That's confirmed now. Look, there it is. There's, there's the Pocket. There it is. There it is. It's back. It's actually back. It's actually back. It's actually back. And you can just pop it up. Um, like, it's in the corner. It's actually in the corner. They did it. They actually made it to be in the corner, bro. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's amazing, man. All-purpose Pocket is back. Let's go, dude. It's taking your steps. You got Empoleon in there. You got Gallade. Look at this team. This is actually a pretty good team, man. I gotta be honest. It's a pretty decent team. You can check your team out the same way. Bro, they brought the pocket back. Oh, that's amazing. You even got the, like, the, like every aspect of it. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Even looking for the, oh, no, I, I can find this shit, bro. Let's go. Hidden moves. You got Rock Smash uh, cut, I guess, being needed to, like, use hidden moves. Maybe through that now. So they made it a bit easier, I guess, uh, you know. You just have it in there, I guess that's pretty solid, but you still gotta give it to your Pokemon. But I guess if you wanna fly, you just press on the pocket and that's it. You don't need to actually like, you know, go into your party to do it. That's just much easier. And then you have the same thing here for like Surf, Defog, Strength, Fly, Cut, etc. So yeah, the, the HMs are back, which I'm fine with. It's a bit annoying sometimes, but I don't mind it. Rock Climb is back and you actually see the Pokemon that does it uh, behind you. That's pretty cool, like the barrel right there. And then we have, I guess, uh, make some Puffins. Let's go, dude. Puffin making is back and it's all done. They're bringing Puffins back, which I'm happy about. That's one of those features that I like that is there. You may not use it all the time, but it's nice that it's actually available. You know what I mean? It's one of those things that just needs to be there. If this is a remake, it's better be a remake that features it. You know what I mean? That's why I personally feel about it. So yeah, you got the cuteness and stuff. This is going to be useful if you're going to be doing the contests. Very useful for the contests, I'll tell you right now. Uh, you've got the, I guess, uh, Amity Square is back. Yeah, take up the six of your Pokemon out for a stroll in Amity Square. Let's go, Nick! Let's go get six of them with you. Look, look at this, man. Look at, that. look at these boys. Look at them playing. Look at them being cute. Oh, that's adorable. You actually get to run around with all of them. That's actually pretty cute, man. I'll be honest. That's adorable. That's genuinely adorable. You got like... Oh, man. This is a fantastic trailer, man. It just makes me happy to go back. Hello, here you can make cooked berries and turn them into puffins. And you can cook with your Pokemon. Cook alongside your Pokemon to make high-level puffins. So I guess if you want to get the best quality ones, the mwah, creme de la creme, you got to do it. Now, encounter a colorful cast of characters. Now we get to see what the characters look like, you know, properly uh, within the game. You know what I mean? It's going to be amazing. Hello, my name is Cheryl, and you are. And, of course, with Cheryl, we're going to go through the forest. We're going to go through the forest with Cheryl. We're going to go through the forest with Cheryl. Okay, so your name is Cocky. Cocky? Cocky? I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Cool. Well, hello there, Cheryl. A gentle helping hand. Well, that's pretty nice. I appreciate you being helpful. You are... Okay, you're Hikari. I'm Riley. Riley is back, ladies and gentlemen. Looking fresh as always, a mysterious ally. You gonna give me an egg? You gonna give me an egg, egg my boy? You gonna give me an egg? You, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool battling with you, but you gonna give me an egg? I want an egg. She's got Chansey. I mean, Chansey, oh my god. Did they put that in there because of the meme? The whole meme about Gen 4 and like the slow Chansey like death? Um, yeah, well, they don't seem too happy about losing. Uh, you got the gym. Here's the gym. Here's the gym. Um, they seem to have changed the way it works. I remember it used to be that, like, wasn't it that spinny boy thingy, uh, in the middle? No, that's, that's, I'm thinking about Johto, uh, or, no, I'm thinking about Kanto, actually, never mind. But yeah, I don't know, um, was this what her gym looked like? I can't remember her gym, what it looked like. 
You kept me waiting. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn as a gym leader. I think that was what a gym looked like. I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, Gardenia is back. She showed up again. So Eterna City gym leader has returned. And uh, yeah, nothing too crazy else to say about that, to be fair. I guess we're just going to see her animation here at the end uh, as she just throws it out. Man, that is actually pretty sick. The animation, actually, everything just looks better. The graphics just look much cleaner now than they did before. Uh, it just looks like much, 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 much better. And she, she seems excited. So that's that. Let's check the website real quick if there's any information we may have missed. Uh, usually they inf include extra information on the website. So we're going to just quickly hop over there and see what they have to say. Um, so they have like, uh, you know, experience, nostalgia, etc. We already know this. Um, Manaphy Egg, we already know that. Uh, doesn't seem to be a lot of posts about other stuff. Let's say check the story section because I think here they might talk about some other stuff. Let's see. Churchwig, uh, characters. Let's see. Characters. Do they have gym leaders? Yeah, Atrana's in here now. Legendary Pokemon. This is new. So this is new information. During your adventure, you'll be able to encounter a legendary Pokemon Dialga and Pokemon Billy Diamond and Palkia and Pearl. Palkia and legendaries and appear in the midst of the Sinnoh region. Uh, it is said that Dialga is the master of time and while Palkia is the master of, uh, of space. Both are known uh, as deities of the, to the people of Sinnoh. How will these two legendary Pokemon be involved in your story? At a glance, the mysterious Pokemon statue in Eternity City looks a bit like Dialga and Palk, uh, a bit like Palkia as well, but it's unclear who created it, in which era, and what for what purpose. They're bringing attention to the statue about the fusion, and I've talked about it. I think there's going to be a fusion form between the two. Uh, this is, I mean, they just talk about, you know, Dialga and Palkia here. Nothing too crazy. Just images of the two. Um, and then here they talk about Mount Cornet and the Spear Pillar. Mount Cornet towers over the center of the Sinnoh region. Its peak always covered in snow. This huge mountain is uh, sacred to the people of Sinnoh. A massive maze sprawls within it. But deeper you go, the stronger the wild Pokemon you'll encounter. And, oh, they have Spear Pillar, man. They didn't even show that in the trailer, dude. Look, there's Spear Pillar. Holy shit, bro. That's amazing. Yo, Spear Pillar. Let's go, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. But yeah, so uh, is this way. The peak of the Mount Cornet is Spear Pillar, which appears to be the ruins of an ancient temple. No one knows if the people of the old once used this place for their rituals or if it was perhaps the dwelling of some sacred creature. Well, we all know what goes, what's going up there. And then they just have the differences between the versions. Go to features. Here they'll probably include the new info about the puffins and all. And as well as like, you know, the, uh, I guess everything that we haven't already seen. Uh, they already talked about, we already know about the underground. Nothing too new there. Here we go. So you have fun with your Pokemon in Amity Square. So yes, Amity Square is in this which is amazing. It actually looks really cute. You can bring about, like, what was it, five Pokemon? I mean, Square is Heart Homes in Heart Home City. It's a relaxing place where you can spend time with your Pokemon. You can play with up to six Pokemon, so six Pokemon ones. See how much fun your Pokemon are having. Uh, call your Pokemon to you by whistling. Preserve precious memories with your Pokemon in the album on your Nintendo Switch's home. Oh, that's cute, man. I actually want to do that. Nice. And walk with your favorite Pokemon. After you visit the Amity Square, you'll be able to walk with one of Pokemon in uh, at time in towns and along routes. So after Amity Square is when you get the ability to have following Pokemon. So it's not too far into the game. Pretty early on, to be fair. Different Pokemon move and act differently, so try walking together with a variety of different partners. So that I'm excited for that, man. I'm going to be doing different different Pokemon to walk with. It's going to be fun. Your Pokemon uh, will react and respond to you in all sorts of ways when you talk to them uh, on your adventure. It looks like it's having a lot of fun. That's great. Make some Puffins! So Puffins are snacks that can raise Pokemon's conditions such as coolness and cuteness. By raising these conditions, you can get higher scores during the visual evaluation or Super Contest show. So that's great. Try making high-level Puffins. Uh, puffin level de depends on cooking skills. The higher the Puffins level, the easier it is to raise the Pokemon's conditions. The trick to good cooking is to stir the pot at the, just the right speed. So that's pretty much like uh, the, the curries in the original, uh, sorry, in uh, Sword and Shield. Now, use capsule decoration to create according to well, We already know about the capsules. We've already seen that. And then here they go further into uh, specifically, I guess, like uh, uh, the, the time of day. Okay, so there's going to be a day and night cycle. There is a day and night cycle in the game. Your adventure changes depending on the time and day. Uh, throughout the Sinnoh region, there are differences along the routes and towns depending on the time of the day. So yeah, uh, there are some Pokemon that only appear in certain, like at, at night, I guess. So yeah, you can find Hoot Hoot in there, bro. Let's go, dude. Hoot Hoot at night. Let's go. And a chat during the day. Um, and here also different items appear in different shops at different times. Oh, interesting. So you got a heart sticker. Heart sticker A is during the, I guess, day and heart sticker B is during the night. So this way, like items will show up at different times. And it seems that Drifloon can only be seen in the wild on a certain day. So yeah, only on a certain day will you be able to find a Drifloon, which I don't remember if there's an actual connection to that, but I'll, I'll, either way. The all-purpose pocket. The pocket is a handy gadget you will receive on your journey that's loaded up with various apps for all sorts of situations. Track time with the uh, digital watch. Use the memo pad for writing and drawing. Let's go. You can draw again in it, bro. You can draw again. Look at these kitties. Oh, that's amazing. And then here, locate hidden items with the dowsing machine. Check your bond with your Pokemon with the friendship checker. And that's amazing. Hidden moves. The pocket allows you to call on wild Pokemon to help you out. So yes, they made, they made like the HMs a little easier to use. Still need to give them to a Pokemon, but it's just easier. 
You'll use hidden moves like cut to chop down trees to block your way or rock climb to sc uh, scale steep cliffs. The hidden move app makes it possible for you to go to places you could never reach on your own. Are a small trees blocking your way? Then the hidden move cut can chop them down. Some cliffs are too steep to climb on foot. Then the hidden move rock climb lets you scale them. And then here, you can even move across water with ease, of course. And that's, I think, it for the new information. For the most part, I think everything else here we have seen is all information we know about. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the information for Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl for its latest trailer. I will be posting more videos covering more of this info uh, for you guys so that you can keep up with what's going on. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a like down below. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Rolf Alex. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gents.